Using the laws of logarithms, let us express ln of 26 minus ln of 23 plus 2 times ln of square root of 28 as a single logarithm and then evaluate it. Now to solve this problem, we're going to have to recall a few formulas. The first one is logarithm base a of x plus logarithm base a of y is equal to logarithm base a of x times y. Then there is a formula which says that logarithm base a of x minus logarithm base a of y is equal to logarithm base a of x divided by y. Then there is the one stating that logarithm base a of x raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by logarithm base a of x and vice versa b times logarithm base a of x is equal to logarithm base a of x raised to the power of b what's important here is that the basis of the logarithms in these two formulas uh, must always be equal. Now, let's get to our problem. The first thing we can notice is that, is that we have a lens, i.e. so-called natural logarithms, which says that these three logarithm, logarithms have the same base, e, which is approximately equal to 2.7. So we can apply these formulas. And the second one seems appropriate. So let's use it. And we're transforming the subtraction into the division. Like this. And we have the third logarithm left. Plus 2 times ln of 28 raised to the one seventh power, which is the same. Square root of x is the same as if we written x raised to one half. <coughs> we can now apply another formula, i.e. the last one. And have ln 28, which was already raised to the power of 1 second, and this all goes raised to the second. Still have this first logarithm. And the second one turns out to be simply ln of 28 because 1 half times 2 equals 1. And now we can apply the very first formula. So we'll have mm, ln of 26 times 28 over 23. And this expression we should evaluate. And we can do this using our calculator, which I've already done, so you can believe my words or not, you can check it yourself. But this expression is approximately equal to 3.4547.